Hello, my dear friends. First of all, I want to thank all of you for the massive support I got on my previous video. I was so impressed how many people in the comment section and in personal messages and on Twitter uh, were supportive. Uh, and that's really, wow, uh, thank you so much. And, um, and um, uh, it really shows to me how many people are following me and, and are valuing my work. Uh, that's so impressive. It uh, must be hundreds of people really that, that responded uh, with supportive messages and that's, that's really amazing. Thank you so much. Um, so, um, yeah, um, what I do all day long is uh, watching videos, uh, reading Twitter, um, reading articles. Uh, my job is to, 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 what keeps me busy all the time is, is to figure out uh, how high will this go? Will the bull market continue or will it not? And, 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 and uh, should I shift some of my investments? And um, it's, uh, I, I love that. Uh, and and um, right now, uh, Bitcoin just had a, a small uh, correction. Um, uh, and it's back up to 2,500. Uh, it went to 2,200 from 2,600 or so. Um, and altcoins also for two days uh, corrected <clears throat> versus Bitcoin. So, um, but but uh, I personally think that um, uh, that um, well that we're still in the bull market. Um, it's not it's not it's not super clear uh, because we had a major rally to two thousand eight hundred dollars basically from thousand two hundred uh, once it broke the all time high uh, to it went straight to two thousand eight hundred uh, and then corrected very strongly to thousand nine hundred went back up to uh, a lower high of two thousand uh, six hundred and uh, and then went back down. Um, uh, to now uh, 2200 so a higher low huh? and, and now it's back at uh, 2500 um, so, so a higher low is positive um, it's not all super clear um, uh, there is much more risk today in the market than, 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 than and of course half a year ago so, so for me, like I, I'm less exposed to crypto today than half a year ago. That's my investment strategy. Uh, I'm not a trader. I'm a long-term investor, and so uh, for me, I'm looking. I'm investing. Uh, it's it's in years. I invest for years, and so uh, I had I taken on a high exposure to crypto in my portfolio when it was uh, going down in 2014 and 2015. Um, my highest exposure was also when uh, it was uh, Bitcoin was at a low of around 200. Uh, then, then I decided to go 80% into crypto. But my plan since then has always been to this time be at a very low exposure when there is a new bubble, uh, when it has been going up parabolically, when it is all over the news, when it a lot of new investors are entering. Um, then I don't want to be 80%, I want to be 20% in crypto. Eh? So, um, uh, the last two bubbles that I experienced in crypto in, in 2013, uh, there were two bubbles. I, I, di I didn't do it well. Um, my, what I forgot to really like accentuate is that uh, I said that the reason why I didn't do well is that I didn't sell enough on, on, on the high and I start to buy back too soon uh, when the correction started. That's true. But my biggest mistake then was actually that I started with way too little in crypto. I started the first bubble 2013 only with 10% in Bitcoin and the second bubble I started only with 20% in Bitcoin. And, uh, and so the, those are very low exposures, meaning 80% of my portfolio was in other investments, gold and, 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 and some other stuff. And, and so even though I saw that the risk reward was the best for 
Bitcoin at the time much better than gold, I still had only 20% in Bitcoin and 80% in gold. So th that was my biggest mistake. Too low of an exposure to start out with. And, and, um, and this time I did that really well. Instead of 20% crypto, I was 80% crypto two years ago, one year ago. Uh, I, I consci consciously chose for that. Even though there were already like, it wasn't a sure thing, Bitcoin around $200, not at all. Because uh, even then, uh, two years ago, I discovered when I was trying to use Bitcoin with merchants that it wasn't working well. Uh, even though transaction fees were still very low then, it was too much of a hassle for merchants to take out a phone and, and have the right software installed and uh, have the employees understand the process. So it was just only for lovers, but it didn't make economical sense to accept Bitcoin. That was two years ago. Um, but at the same time, I realized, okay, price has gone down from 1000 to, 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 to 200 and I've been buying since 500 So it's not like I, I timed it all perfectly. Far from it. I, I started to buy Bitcoin way too soon, already at 500 and it collapsed to 160 So So I was sitting on a lot of losses on the way down, but... but uh, I continued to buy, uh, even at 200, uh, I decided to sell my, I, I sold all my other investments for Bitcoin and other cryptos. So that was my best move. And it's thanks to that, that I have great returns today. Um, even though I've been scaling out, I'm, I'm, I'm very careful, uh, uh, bull markets in, in both directions, bull markets always go higher than you expect. And I see a lot of videos appearing now uh, of people uh, that uh, people that were always bullish uh, start to become bearish. And so, <clears throat> uh, for example, Crypto O just made a video uh, that um, he thinks uh, the, the risk has gone up a lot and, and the bear market m might have started. And, uh, and, and many others um, start to do that too. Uh, for example, Tom we also made a video that well, I'm not sure about that, but um, I, I start to see that people are you get the, you start to get a lot of warnings that we might be in a bubble, and and I, I've uh, I've been uh, doing that also, but uh, but but uh, I, I still think that um, this market will surprise on the upside, and so. From my calculations, I thought, okay, Bitcoin will very likely go to $2,300, while in the meantime, altcoins will explode versus Bitcoin and versus fiat. Uh, uh, so, so, uh, but, but, but once we breached that 2300 and we're at 2800 I saw so much strength in the market and, and I, I realized I made a little calculation mistake um, that, that I see that the, 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 the the power of the bull has been going down with every bubble, every Bitcoin bubble. And so it, was, it has been cut in half every Bitcoin bubble. And, and so that's why I came to 2300. But uh, this bubble is, 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 is much more like the first bubble of 2013 and not the second one. Uh, because this one also took two years to, 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 to form. And so the, 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 the momentum is stronger. And so if you look at the first bubble of 2013, it's like the bubble in 2011 also. That one also was the first real big one. Uh, and, and, and these two bubbles the f have been very strong and basically did uh, 100x mm, from the low. And so Bitcoin went from a low of $3 to 255 in the first bubble of 2013. So that's almost 100x. And, um, and, and, and I think we can see the same again today, not for Bitcoin, but for the whole crypto market. And so the low was not $3, but $3 billion, uh, for the whole crypto market uh, uh, at the end of 2014. Uh, that was the bottom. It went to $15 billion, bottomed out at $3 billion. Um, and so all coins, all cryptos together, and so I think we can go to 300 billion, but that's absolutely the maximum. Huh? And, 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 and very high risk to, in, to bet on that, but it is possible. Huh? Um, but so we're at 100 billion. Uh, uh, um, and, and I think that we can go at maximum 300 billion, but considering that that Bitcoin is still in a bullish, in a bull run, eh? because um, 
it has breached um, the previous all-time high was uh, 2,800, collapsed strongly 2,900. Then it could have been that we started the bear market, but that was broken. Uh, it went up, sorry, I was wrong before, it went up to a new all-time high of almost 3,000. Hmm? So, so, so that's, that, that means that we're still in a bull market. And, and so, is another video I will link below, a great video I just discovered from um, uh, a YouTuber. Uh, his name is Phil Nurk. And um, it, it was made in February 2017. And, and, and he did a great calculation, that video that I've done before, but never really shared like he did. Uh, and, and, and you should really check that out. And so he's estimating how high can Bitcoin go. <clears throat> and he, he estimates between 2,000 and 10,000. Okay, very wide range. But the, the number he puts on it is, is like 3,200. He thinks that's the most likely. And that's very interesting for me because, um, yes, I, I think so too. And I'm planning to, to, to like, at first I've been uh, saying many times, like, I think 2,300, uh, I and 2000, that's it. But I've changed my mind there. And I think, no, we'll, we'll breach 3000. Uh, and we will probably peak out somewhere and 3000. And and so, 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 but, you know, to be sure, I don't want to sell, like, do, do the biggest move there. I want to do the biggest move before that. So, so my plan is my next uh, <clears throat> selling point is 3200 or so, <clears throat> where I hope to go to 70% to 80% fiat. Yeah? Um, uh, but um, yeah, <clears throat> what we're missing still in this bull market is just, it seems that we're in the first phase where people are, 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 are careful, are starting to become careful. I, and, 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 and I've done that too. But typical for a bull market is that it, uh, it goes beyond that and it really shut up the bears. The bears don't dare to speak anymore because they've, they've been wrong. And so, uh, and people are just misled. Uh, most people have to be misled. And those that are investing naively must be, must get a lot of like uh, feelings that they were right. Huh? And so, 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 so the naive investors today are the ones that have been entering uh, when Ethereum was already at uh, $200 or, or when Bitcoin is already above 2,200 uh, or two dollars uh, when everything has been going up parabolically for a, two, a few months and only then they enter. Those are the naive investors uh, and, and, and the investors that say that, yeah, yeah, but uh, long term this is um, a great investment and, and, and I don't mind uh, sh short term. Okay, may maybe there will be corrections, but uh, you know, that's okay because long term is a good investment. But they never really experienced a crypto correction, and and and, and so uh, when they and and so, but I think these people sh will will be, will be proven right to enter at such relatively high prices, uh, and for that to happen, the market must really go up considerably more from here, um, and and so also what I'm missing is I, I think in this. What we're having is not, it's not a massive Bitcoin bull, but it's a massive crypto bull. Eh? And, and so this is, um, this is, is, is the bull market where, 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 where altcoins really uh, take over. Eh? Um, and, and after this bull, bull, bull market, we will not talk about anymore about altcoins, but about cryptos. Um, because Bitcoin has lost such a, a dom its dominant position and, 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 and other coins are not altcoins anymore. They are just cryptos. And so um, <clears throat> for that to happen, this bubble also <clears throat> must really dethrone a Bitcoin. And, and I think Ethereum will succeed in becoming bigger in market cap than Bitcoin, which means Bitcoin has been dethroned. Um, so that's what I'm also missing in this bull market. I think that still needs to happen. Um, And what also still needs to happen is, is massive regret uh, for those that have been careful, uh, like me and, and some others that are starting to be careful today, uh, selling some of their darlings, uh, Ethereum bulls uh, that have been very, very bullish and have held on from one or 10 or $30 to uh, 300 $400. But then 
so it go down to 200 and now starting to become careful and so they sell some or a decent piece of their stash but then uh, they see it go to 500 or even maybe 700 or even maybe thousand dollars so extreme prices where those that have been not careful and bought in at 200 are saying think of themselves that they are heroes and buy some more at 700 or 800 um, but um, um, will then see a lot of their a lot of their investment capital evaporate in the bear market after so so I think this is something we're still missing uh, and, and, and I think uh, this uh, uh, will I uh, has a good chance to happen um, so yeah, um, my recommendation is, is to be careful, uh, to, 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 to certainly lock in profits if you have been making a lot of profits. I mean, there are no certainties at all. Um, there, this has become a high risk, a very high risk investment, uh, short term cryptocurrency. It's not a good investment anymore. Um, so, so, so. Being exposed 80 or 90 percent for me is, 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 is not a responsible thing to do. Um, but okay, 50 percent, uh, yeah, okay, yes. Uh, if you if that other 50 percent um, are, are amazing profits you locked in, yes, okay, you can still risk the other 50 percent. There is still a very good chance uh, for it to double or triple from here. Uh, but um, but if that happens, um, I hope you don't get um, you don't start believing in 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 in, in that we will get uh, we will go to straight to um, from the current hundred billion we can go to two hundred billion but I don't I think the chances are extremely low that we will go to thousand billion one trillion or two trillion or three trillion even though it is true that the other markets stock markets real estate or uh, saving accounts like these are trillion dollar markets other currencies US dollar euro these are like trillion dollar markets so much bigger than crypto crypto is nothing and so indeed a lot more capital can flow into crypto and crypto in the long term will be equally valuable as the US dollar today that's 5000 billion that's 5 trillion and that's times 50 from here yes <clears throat> uh, but but it goes via booms and busts i mean there is a small chance it goes straight to one trillion. That's true too. So that's why I will never sell all my crypto. But chances are very low for that. Um, it's, the chance is much higher that, 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 that it goes up via booms and busts. And so after a boom, <clears throat> 100x boom, uh, we get a, a, a minus 80% correction. And so um, if we get 200, uh, 200 billion market cap, 80% correction means... Uh, the bottom will be 40 billion that's still a lot lower than where it is today so everything you sell today uh, can likely be uh, bought back uh, considerably cheaper so uh, check out that video from Phil Nurk uh, it's really worthwhile bye guys